But when this part of the cave showed up in Fable 3, I was like, nope. <laughs> Like, I need to rethink if it's worth the value of completing. And you're like 75% of the way through the game when you get here. And I was like, nope, I'm going to put this down for a little while. Sounds a lot like the Fable, essentially, co-op, actually, Fable 2. Like, well, then I've been playing through. It's like, yeah, you can join in, and you can't really do anything except follow the main hero around and slash up the baddies. That's pretty much it. So much fun. <laughs> you can do expressions, though. Like, I actually uh, was able to uh, blue ball Will on one of his uh, advances with a woman on the game. Okay. So. <laughs> You're just in the background, like, "Hey, I'm still here, buddy." Well, I, I always play the evil woman in the Fable Henchman uh, game, so like, I'll like, he'll be like, flirtation with a woman, right? And I will just put out the farts and the, the the dumb middle school humor, and she's like walking away from him, like, "Nope, <laughs> this is she's not like, what I thought it was." She's like, "I can't be associated with people like him. I gotta go." <laughs> Well, the best part is if you carry on the fart expression too long in Fable, you basically crap your pants. Oh, Those kids are like, what are you doing? Yeah, no. <laughs> There's like three kids behind you. Like, what are you doing? Yes! Yeah! Oh, I love that. Yeah! You crap yourself. Yeah! <laughs> oh my yeah, god. Yes, you loved that. Didn't you hear that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> I did play that game. I. Can't say I ever pooped my pants in it though. <laughs> I'm just sitting here thinking, like, if they had any like forethought into like what would happen after you mess up that expression, you should have like a stench following you as you go to the- <laughs> walk around the rest of the town. Better go find a the- bath. <laughs> okay, but I will say this: the reason why I brought up Fable was not only because of the Dead Rising uh, campaign um, being similar to that when you do co-op, but Fable 3 legitimately terrified me. What? <laughs> There's a part of Fable 3 that... Have, do you know what I'm talking about? Mm, all right. So my experience with Fable 3 real quick. Um, I loved Fable 1. Fable 2 was decent. I had reserved mixed opinions because of the co-op. Kind of made me upset. And then I got Fable 3 and I was like, yes, they're going to redeem themselves. Literally got to the first section. You like enter some building... And I got in the building and I literally could not leave the building. It was like glitched. And I was just like, done. I just turned the game off and never played, even though I bought it. So I was very upset with it. And I didn't. So you don't know it. what happens in the cave. No, no. I, I was in like some random building stuck. When I got to the caves in Fable 3, there's the most chilling and terrifying scene I've ever seen in my life that happens in this game. Like, and it's just because. I, it's like totally out of left field for a fable game. Yeah, I so I'm gonna expect, pull it up real quick and I'll I show wouldn't you. I would expect you to be scared of a fable. No, game I know. Very... I, I was shocked what they decided to do with this. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up for you. Just wait till you see how terrifying this monster is. Like I, I was like literally about ready to turn the game off when they got to this part. So wait till you, like the scene itself. And maybe it's not as bad now, but I was a lot younger when I played this game. Mm-hmm. So I just remember it being like so out of left field and creepy. Let's see if we, I know it's now it's going to take forever to get there, and then it's going to be like Slender Man all over again. I showed my friend Slender Man way later, and they're like, "This is stupid. Mm-hmm. Why would this be scary?" <laughs> Slender Man is so much more than just seeing him. Like oh yeah, just the just like the creepy pasta build up to yes. understanding him is what makes him terrifying. And then Marble Hornets didn't do any, you know, did a pretty good job. <laughs> and then Will Boo Fable Three. <laughs> Wait, does Shut Will not like Fable 3? He thinks Fable 3 is bad. Okay. I mean, I I would be in the same boat because literally it was 30 minutes in, it glitched, and I lost 60 bucks because I was too proud to keep playing. I want to find this scene because the scene is what's terrifying. I think it's right here. Yeah, why? Like this is the build-up to it. Like, Look at this. Look at these, these dark children in this cave. Mm-hmm. And then after that, Comes the creepiest like scene in all of the Fable the series. Crap out of them. Yeah, you kill these like children that are just essentially eyes. Dropping a rainstorm. Oh, here we go. Come on, boys. These things are all around us. Come on, come on, come on! Balls. Said 
hit me. Oh, that's it right oh. there. Oh my gosh. That thing what was like a jump scare and a half. Did you see that thing? Yeah, I mean it's a little laggy, so like sorry. It was like a it was no, you're good. It was like a slideshow, but literally I was looking and then all of a sudden it appeared, and I can definitely see how that would literally be a jump scare. I legitimately about jumped out of my clothes when that scene came on Fable 3. And I loved Fable 3. But you're in this cave. You're wandering around this game. You know it's creepy. Like, the whole time you're in this cave, it's, just, it's like, okay, something's wrong with this cave. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. all the other caves, like, oh, you fight the Hobbs. You fight various stupid things. And then Fable 3, the demon of the night in the middle of the freaking cave. And it's like, what the f so does he like haunt you the rest of the cave and you fight him or is it he just winds, like no a... he winds up being the big baddie for this game and you end up fighting him oh. on the steps of the the castle essentially okay interesting yeah it, it, it's he's like this uh darkness incarnate essentially okay. which also is a little freaky i'm not gonna lie because <laughs> then he like inhabits all the souls of the fable civilians and like turns them against you that's so wild it is like for a fable game it was pretty dark <laughs> and then you have to kill like your best spoilers alert but my I goodness mean, you have to kill like your best friend in the game the lost sheep returns to the flock no one ever leaves the darkness behind do you see do you see what you have allowed? We are all shadows now. Just is that dark? Is that dark though? Because like I played Fable One being bad and I killed everybody. <laughs> so I'm just saying this crawler guy is like literally darkness incarnate. Whether you're good or bad, you gotta kill the guy. Oh, okay. You so you can't like align yourself with him? I'm saying like that I don't would, think so. That would be legit, bro. You're now like now you got nah. me questioning. They got me questioning. <laughs> You're like, nah, dude, I'm gonna way. align myself with the darkness incarnate, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh my gosh, can you? What? I don't think I, I don't think you can align with the crawler. Like I think you you either become a good king or a bad king after you kill the crawler. Okay. I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't. I don't know, dude. I'm just saying you that would be so like confused. that would be like end game, like ten out of ten game design, from my opinion. Align with the darkness incarnate. Oh my gosh. Yes, sir. Be, I'd feel sick to my stomach, my friend. I know, but at least you wouldn't be scared because <laughs> he'd be on your side. <laughs> Is that coming for you anymore? Yeah, I don't think you so, so there's no neutral alignment rewards. You can't do that. Um I I don't think you can. Yeah, I wouldn't see it. It, it no does because I don't I don't know how I don't know how Albion continues on mm -hmm. if you align with the darkness incarnate. It would be way too divergent, I think, and like make too But I mean, you'd be like ends. living in you'd be like living in the <clears> the dark area, the dark part of ocarina of time where you got the the, the maulers and ganon yep. whatever the heck those things are called and you, you like nobody wants to live there no that's valid <laughs> yeah i mean that was i am i almost quit this game fable 3 when this thing came out of the nowhere in the cave like i was like this is some scp style stuff in here it's like Mike, Mike, i can't live with this right mm -hmm. like, this this is what it was and it makes i think it makes a horrible i don't know if it was like Completely, it was either completely quiet or it shrieks. I don't remember which because I haven't ever played Fable 3 a second time. I love the game, but I've never played it a second time. I've always just continued on from my ending of the game and played all the yeah. side quests, the DLC, bought up everything I could. But when this part of the cave showed up in Fable 3, I was like, nope. <laughs> Like, I need to rethink if it's worth the value of completing. And you're like 75% of the way through the game when you get here. And I was like, nope, I'm going to put this down for a little while. I think I was, it didn't help that I was playing at like, you know, one in the morning or something. Yeah, that's usually the worst time to play scary games. You but you don't think middle. it's going to be a problem when you're playing Fable. No, exactly. <laughs> you would not think that Fable would bring that up. I had, I had nightmares from that one. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I just didn't see it coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, man.